stop time, stop times indeed. And we all need a bit of we all need a bit of guidance and how to muddle through tough times, don't we? So with that in mind, um, I decided I'd update if I uh, get my finger on the zeitgeist. <laughs> how do you survive in these times? So I've updated if that's not if by Terry Salas. <laughs> sure. By the way, for those of you who remember that, you can't even improve on that. Okay. If by Kipling, that's Rudyard, not Mr. For those of you who prefer cakes to poetry. And to be honest, if you can bake a good cake, you've more chance of fame and fortune than if you're good at poems these days. Right. If, with apologies to Rudyard Kipling, if you can keep your daddy's trust fund while all about you are losing homes and jobs and blaming it on you. If you can dream of a day when compassion is taboo when well-being belongs to the complacent few. If you can wear your arrogance and greed like cheap cologne. If you can smoke cigars rolled on poverty's thigh. If being born to rule Britannia is bred in your bone. If you can lash in power with your old school tie. If you can spread a little privilege to those in need but let the undeserving eat pedigree chum. If you can give to your charity like children in tweed, but still sne sneer at scurvy scrounging benefit scum. If you can put that boot into those shameless shirking skivers, but you can pay yourself a bonus and not laugh. If you can hymn the praises of the hard working strivers and grovel on your knees before the golden calf. If your underpants are handmade from gilded ocelot, if your suit is cut from the cloth of others' pain, if you can knock back martinis on an oligarch's yacht and buy a ticket for the corporate green tree. If you can spend each weekend in your stately country pile. If your smooth pink welfare cheeks tend towards the flabby. If you think comedy means Boris dancing gangnam style and the apogee of art is Downton Abbey. If you believe that bolshy Marxists run the BBC and tax avoidance is a perk of the elite. If you can take the sugar out of someone else's tea and transform NHS into New Harley Street. If you can really milk a system for all that it's worth. If you know you've won the race before it's even run. Then you'll have the whole world in your wallet. Yours is the earth. And you'll be a selfish Tory bastard, my son. Thank you. <laughs> Um, 
In Iceland, in the wake of the financial crisis in 2008, the bankers all got jailed. They were all stuck inside for fraud. Not here. Not here. And I think that was a good decision. There's, there's no point. No point in jailing bankers. They should be ritually disemboweled with an airline neoplastic knife left in the desert to be picked at by boxers on Mogadon very, very slowly whilst the music of Justin Bieber plays at ear splitting volume. <laughs> Just for a laugh. Because it's not their fault, really. It's not their fault. The one person whose fault the whole financial crisis happened, the one person, one person alone entirely to blame is, of course, you know who it is, I know who it is, Kirsty also. <laughs> That's who it was. Uh, not the other guy, Phil Thing. Phil, you know, forgive him, Lord, he knows not what he does. This has to the cup that drawn by. Doesn't know what he's doing. It was, I'm digressing now. I'm, 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 yeah, I better get back to the point. Um, <laughs> But it was her, uh, you know, it's that program location, location, location. <laughs> this for an hour, but I would like to buy a weekend with an old man with enough bedrooms, tall horses, and a city crash pad. And they only have a budget of 50 billion. Woo! Well, it's, and it's quite fun now, isn't it? It's like the Crimean War all over again. It's like the charge of the financial light brigade. It's all going to go wrong. The property market will go back down after this new bubble. The financial markets will go down. The Western economies will go down. And Goodbye, Western civilization. You can mark my words to paraphrase George Formby. Mr. Wu will be running the laundry from now on. The Chinese that are coming, it's all custody, all sorts of fault. And then she's swanning around the country saying, You know, the country's fun. Fun, fun, fun. Look, look, I'm in a cradle from a walnut. <laughs> Me and my 25 carpenters. <laughs> and missing yurts from mouse shoppings. Oh, living in the country's fun, fun, fun. No, it's not. Living in the country quite often involves misery, unemployment, and alcoholism. I should know. Right. I live in the country. Right. I'll speedily get through what I was going to do. Uh, an event happened about this time last year, wasn't it? That dominated the news agenda in a very strange manner. From where I live, just over in the Isle of Public, 21st century communication fears to trend. Quite often, I was blissfully unaware of what had happened until I got home and I saw the headline, so I wrote this. Breaking news in Dorset Haiku. Thatcher dead, they said. Someone's fallen off the roof, I thought to myself. Um, can I get away with that, though, can you? Really? Uh, and then watching the news and the kind of Stalinist revision of the entire thing, which was being turned into some sort of Joan of Art figure, I thought I'd better write something, so this is called The Bed of the Roots. Empire's half mast flag unfurls, requiem's tweet from ex Spice Girls, iron handbag, twin set and puddles found dead in a bed at the Ritz. Cruel Britannia's buccaneer, brass ball female anti greer, cause of Ben Bloody Elton's career, found dead in a bed at the Ritz. Civil out of faulty towers, hair, steel clad belief in laissez faire, the midwife that gave birth to Blair, now dead in a bed at the Ritz. Love Lord Acolyte, sadly weak, cue phony, Tony, so skindy. Hey, Ian, you know, come on, she was feeble, Meryl Street. <laughs> Dead in a bed at the Ritz. Cold prepackaged grocer's daughter, leading England's lambs to slaughter. Ordained divine at Mammon's altar. Dead in a bed at the Ritz. Boudicca of Entente Cordiale, the Tory gentleman's femme fatale. Mandela's forward Pinochet's pal. Dead in a bed at the Ritz. Fed the rich a daily for catcher, spawned men of Geoffrey Archer's stature, besmutched the honest trade of Thatcher, dead in a bed at the Ritz. Here lies a shattered miner's lamp, factories choked down in black damp, Belgrano goes still slowly stamp, round and round a bed at the Ritz. You can pray care on Rosa to hell, tramp the dirt down, sound a futile knell, but all her dreams are alive and well, living it up at the Ritz. Money shouts, just listen to the noise, material girls and city boys, ruthless little Lord Fauntleroy's, even now they're putting on the Ritz. Public service sold for private wealth, community and kindness killed by stealth, compassion, care and national health, dying in a sick bed far from the Ritz. Put inequality to the sword, give each one of us our just reward, and then one day we all might afford to pay for a bed at the Ritz. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to finish with one short one because I thought it'd be appropriate to have a word from our leader, the Prime Minister, 
I'm adding number 10 Downing Street. He's a man who's got plans, isn't he? He's got plans. So did Baldrick though, so that's not saying very much. And uh, his latest one, I think it was at the last Tory conference, he said he's going to lead us all into a land of opportunity. His words not mine. Lead us all into a land of opportunity. So a wee bit, a wee bit Moses, a wee bit Huey Keen. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm going to finish with this. This is called You Can Call Me Dave. Change, optimism, hope, progress, energy, vigour, modest, moderate, modern, bright, better, bigger, conservative, compassionate, liberal, black, Muslim, gay, young, green, Martian, work, rest, play, responsible, tangible, real. Motivation, dedication, aspiration, empower, enhance, improve. Location, location, location. <laughs> Freedom, wealth, opportunity, courage, resolve, expertise, beliefs, values, dreams, eats, shoots, leaves. <laughs> On my bike, eco friendly guy. Recycle, renew, relax, take off time. Liberty, equality, paternity, women, babies. Men, cooperation, coalition, cocaine, never, ever again. <laughs> trusting, caring, sharing, built, trusting, caring, sharing, Rebecca, Rupert, Andy, Emerson, Lake, Palmer, Yankee, Doodle, Death. <laughs> Beans means Heinz, ready, steady, go, leg before, wicket, Edgar, Allan, Poe, Mary, Mungo, Midge, Beverly Hills, Cop, Yabba, Dabba, Do, Snap, Crackle, Pop. Keep it real, watch me blog, pimp my right suit, doggy dog. Oh, ya shaka in the hood, super smashy, great finger looking good. Suit user, our friends electric, what that one, also dirk, check. Bloody nice bloke, sunshiny day, blobby, 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 dabba, dabba, hey. Dribble, biffle, bill, jerry, yak, yak, rhubarb, 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 quack, quack, quack. Silver spoon face, chubby puppy, fat, shiny wavy hair, Notting Hill tracks. Same old Tory, Eaton, blood blue brand, new package, Blair, Mark 2. Thank you.